So here we go, round three of five. Each round, three minutes long, full Muay Thai rules. And I'd like to pick up on the Sandy Holt's point. It would be nice to see some more elbows and knees. We haven't really at all in this fight, Sandy. No, I think there's a there's that thing knowing that both fighters are what they care, what they're both capable of, capable of. And I think that um, obviously they don't want to get. They're both powerful lads, and I think if one of these throws an elbow, it's going to be it's probably devastating. It'll probably throw, you know, get a cut or even a knockout because they are strong lads. Yes, takes a familiar pattern with Christian DiPaolo stalking Fashvedosian. Good boxing technique comes from Christian. Both strong lads in the legs. And again, this whole fight really has been fought on the back foot for Fedosian, hasn't he? Yes. He's allowed Christian Ooh. to bring the fight to him. Yeah, good body kick that turned Christian round with that body kick, like the power of it. But then Christian comes straight back with a good hand combination boxing. And again, he's used that tactic, he's working that front thigh every opportunity. That's right. Just trying to wear it down slightly. Because while he's kicking that leg, he can't use it. And it's also preventing him from using his other leg because he'll catch him off balance if he throws the left. Yes, yeah, so Christian trying to negate Fashvedosian's legs during this encounter. Yeah, a lot of the kicks are actually landing on the, the fighter's arms, which difficult to score for the judges, but um, if there's nothing happening and one's doing a bit more than the other, it'll get scored on work rate. To, to be honest, Sandy, what's really needed here is one really clean, hard shot, isn't it? Because neither man's really landed totally flush right. since the opening of round one very yeah. cleanly. Yeah, but you can see the reddening, though, actually, on Christian DiPaolo's arm, where Fash is trying to stop that hand, which is a tactic that the ties are very good at. If they notice their opponent's a good boxer, they'll smash the arm. Can you see that now? He's working that arm of DiPaolo. Oh, we've seen an elbow to the body, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, Fash, I would say Fash needs to go like, low to the leg, like he just did, then bring it up to the body, and then land a punch. I think that might work for him. I think he already knows that, because Fash is, is good at that. I've seen him fight, and he can do that. But yes. Christian's quite content to just keep, like you said, plowing forwards. Yes, the pace is up slightly in this round, and as I said, Fash also seems quite happy to let him come forward like that. But I think it's a dangerous game when both men have such power. Good, good body punch, caught the leg, nice, good body shot, good body shot, it was, that was excellent. Well, they've certainly got the crowd going, Sandy, we can hardly hear ourselves yeah, now. That's it, that's it. The, the crowd are droning us out here, that's what they want, people want action. There's that leg low kick I was telling you about, you talked about clean technique, Malcolm, that's the only one that's working that's going in clean, because the kicks are working the arms, now don't get me wrong, alright, they are hitting the arms, but they are wearing his arms down too, it'll prevent Christian from using his hands. And Christian is good with his hands. Best round of the fight so far. You liked the subtle stuff that Fash did in that round, didn't you? Yes, I did. I just thought that um, he started to, even like I said, all right, he's kicking Christian's arms, but it, it still hurts. You get kicked across an arm, you see the difference between the weight of, and the size of an arm and a leg. A leg's going to hurt more than an arm, and he's kicking those arms continuously, and that's going to slow his boxing down. There we go again. Yes, Fash for Ocean, 2-1 down on our card with two to go and there's the kicks that Sandy'd like to see very strong he went up and down this time Sandy yes that's that's what he needs to do he needs to he needs to fight the jab first just to keep him busy without to disguise the kick I think he just needs to work that jab he's got to watch that leg though because that's the third time in this fight that nope. Christian has caught it that's and right. retaliated again every time Fash goes a little too high Christian drops down a low kick excellent timed Perfect to the back of the leg, catching Fash off balance. Good technique. There's a set, there's a, a, a greater sense of urgency in this round, and you just feel it's gone up a level, haven't we? Because, and I think that's because Fash has come out and done like we said. He started to test him now and started to get his own work off slightly faster, and it's made for a better start to the round. Yes. Good front kick there, landing. You can hear, can hear his corners are just at the side of us, Malcolm, saying, you're time to work, Fash, time to work, and he has to. Because I say, he's one round down in, in, in my books. He started to use his hands a little bit more, which is good. And then kicks are so powerful. Trebled up on those kicks, Three Sandy. kicks landed there on the arms of Christian. And I, I keep mentioning this word against the arms, but that's going to bring his guard down, it's going to slow his boxing down, and it's going to have its tickets toll in the later rounds. Yes, I can, you can just tell watching that Fash He's looking to counter a lot more as well now, isn't he? He's coming forward after, he's moving just slightly out of range, then coming back. He has turned up the heat in this round. Fash is really working hard to get back into this fight. Yes. 
Christian's there, still busy in front of him all the time and keep pushing forward, which is his game plan. It's working for him. But um, Fash is definitely the counter, he's winning in the counter strikes. That's his, that's his game. Yes, he's getting those scoring kicks in. I've noticed he's just beginning to skip out of range of the retaliatory punches, isn't he? Yes. I just noticed there just a few seconds ago, uh, Christian tried to land a right elbow, just out of range, but at least he's trying them. Because it is full tie rules. Again, yes, he tried the left tried elbow against, there, yeah, but he's out of range, he needs to get closer. You can't land, he's trying to land elbows from boxing range, you can't. You've got to move from boxing range into elbow range. You've got to step that little few extra centimetres in. The key to this round, Sandy, is really, it's the first time that Fash has been out of range, isn't it? Or, or managed to get himself out of range. And it's the first round he actually looks, I feel, to be scoring far more frequently. Yes. Yeah, he's, he's commanding leaps and bounds, and that last round did him good. It, he knows that these kicks are actually hurting and doing some damage. His corner saying here, can hear his corner quite clearly saying, don't wait, don't wait. I mean, that's, that's obviously that it's got to be the game plan. It has I to be the tactics though, of Fash. I think, though, he's wary of using that front kick too Ooh, often. Because right on the bell. Almost the other you see elbow almost landed. Elbow, spinning reverse elbow, but Fash landed him with a body kick as he spun, which threw him out of distance and out of sync. And it's a good job, because if that would have landed, you might have been lights out. Yes, for the first time, as we saw here, he matches him, and then he doubles up on yes. the kicks. One, two, I think, I don't know if he goes for the third. Yes, the third, I think the fourth misses, but yes. But mm. four kicks on, you know, in continuation, what? Excellent. In the fact that Fash has hauled himself back into this fight, Christian still looks calm and cool and fit. 